Iran's Persepolis bounced back from their defeat to Al Nasser with a win against Al Duel on match day two and will try and stick to winning ways as they host Tajikistan's Istiklal, who are in search of their first win in the competition at the Azadi Stadium in Tehran. Persepolis are still without their conductor in midfield, Yasin Salmani, who is out for the season through injury. Istiklal will be relying on their top goalscorer and captain Alisher Jalilov to pull the strings going forward with the support of summer arrival Senin Sebai in attack. The stage is set, so let's jump straight into the action. Istiklal with a strong start to the game, putting the Persepolis defence under pressure and it would pay off as well. A foul by Masoud Riki on Jenis Beganovic would go to review. VAR stepping in and after a second look by the referee, he would return to the pitch and point to the spot. Istiklal with a chance to take an early a lead. Senin Sebai would step up. However, Ali Reza Beranvant would come up with the save. A stiff right arm, keeping the Ivory Coast striker out and keeping Persepolis in the game. Tenth minute, and it was time for the side from Iran to come forward with a really good chance of their own. Ali Nemati with the shot from distance, but can't find the target and puts it wide of the left post into the 14th minute now Persepolis starting to take control of the game finding their rhythm and creating goal scoring opportunities Rustam Yatimov called into action that time just before the halftime whistle there was a chance for Istiklal to try and get themselves on the scoreboard as well a decent effort from Jalilov but off balance and can't find the target Persepolis then with a dead ball situation the uh, first effort into the wall, the second takes a deflection and finds the back of the net as well just before half-time, Saeed Sadegi with a fantastic strike, a little bit of help from Masoud Riki, unfortunate for the defender but Persepolis will not care one bit as they head down the tunnel with a one-goal cushion and come out for the second half, picking up where they left off, going forward and creating chances. Madi Torabi with the through ball for Mohamed Omari. Torabi on as a second-half substitute. Again, Yatimov called into action. So to the keeper at the other end, Bedan Vant there to deny the rather central strike from Alisher Jalilov as we head into the 71st minute now. An action-packed game and a second goal in the 71st minute. The linesman's flag would go up and for the second time, VAR would step in and for the second time they would award the goal to Persepolis. Sahedi with the through ball and the vision to pick out Sadegi. And he picks up his second goal of the night in Tehran. Persepolis now in cruise control and looking for a third in the final stages. Yatimov with the save to deny Zaedi Nemati then on the follow-up. But he can't find the targets either. Persepolis make it two wins from two in front of an ecstatic home crowd in Tehran and take their tally to six points to keep the pressure on Al Nasser at the top of Group E.